All right, it's pre-workout time, and then we're heading to the gym. I actually wanted to go to the doctor this morning, but um, I only got an appointment for tomorrow at 8.45, because I just want to feel like really, really good, especially with the golf tournament coming up. I'm also going to play a quick round of golf today, um, just to kind of get into the swing of things and make sure that when I am or when I do go to this tournament in Isla on Thursday, which I'll take you along for the whole weekend, um, that I'm, you know, fairly good, or at least, like, actively been playing recently, so, so I don't make a fool of myself and lose the competition. What do you say, Sophie Carr? Get back into the swing of things. <laughs> Literally, right? <Yeah. laughs> anyway, let's go to the gym. So I got a comment yesterday where this person said that I should potentially look at maybe not posting every single day and maybe just post twice a week with better content with more informed content and not a lot of you know vlog fog whatever that means I googled it I couldn't find out what that meant but I guess I get the idea of, of, of what he was trying to say and obviously all due respect you know I have I respect every single subscriber, every person that I come across, everyone I speak to, I have the utmost respect for until I, they disrespect me, then you obviously lose your respect, right? The same with trust, I give everyone trust, if they break it, then that's done. But in this case, for instance, like I said, with all due respect, the whole reason for me making these videos and just living my life and getting tattoos and growing my hair, shaving my hair, growing moustache, bulking up in the gym cutting down whatever it is that I'm doing at this moment I do it because all my life I've been conforming to this world and doing things that other people want me to do and the whole point why I feel like my life is starting to kind of make sense is because I don't listen to people necessarily I read it and I, I take it in and I think hmm is this a good idea is it not a good idea and then I make a choice and for me honestly I'm doing daily vlogs because I like it and I want people to know who I am what I go through I'm sick I'm vlogging you know I'm sick because two days ago I was sick like I didn't make this up or hide the fact that I was sick just to create entertainment for you I'm doing daily vlogs so you can see who Roche Kilian is what is he doing and the whole reason and I know this is gonna sound crazy but I have a feeling deep down that I'm gonna really be successful one day because that's what we aim for and I want people to look back at these videos and see that you know what he didn't just it just vanish or not vanish it doesn't pop up in out of you know nowhere he actually had a normal life and he worked really hard and he was sick and he vlogged every day and look wet where he is now and I want you to look at that in a motivational way, an inspiring way, thinking that if I can do that, you can do that too. So, let's go. Alright, smashed another session, some shoulders, I can't actually feel my arms, so I still have to carry the camera, <laughs> uh, my shoulders are just super burny, that's a word, burny, mm. Uncle Burny, mm. anyway, let's go. Alright, so I am heading to Mulleton, now Mulleton is a Lynx golf course here in Cape Town, it's literally alongside the ocean now that's what makes it a lynx and because of it's it's that side i actually show you can see table mountain from from the course it's really beautiful but the only downside of the course it's actually physically it's an easy course like there's no tricks and things to it but because of the wind and the angle of the wind it's so so difficult you're constantly playing either against it or like it from the left or the right it's never really you know coming or playing with you maybe one or two holes where you turn around you'll get the wind at your back but other than that it's it's a tough course the wind protects the course from you scoring a low score but um, you know it's gonna be good practice for me because yeah in three days I'm gonna go to Neisner to play a three-day tournament with uh, old friends we do that once a year 
and uh, I just want to be prepared because I haven't played for a while. So let's see how I how I do against the wind. It's so nice and misty today. So we're just waiting for everyone before we start. But this is like a chippy green. Look how look how misty it is, which means it's going to be warm but windy. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, this is one of the best courses that I could actually play before going on to that big tournament because you know uh, it's going to challenge me a lot. So let's go. One of the whole locations. Uh, this is hole two. Uh, just made a bogey. Look how beautiful that is. Got Cape Town Mountain. Massive waves here. It's incredible. The specific hole is quite nice because well, Table Mountain in the back. But look at this fence. You got it. Kind of goes left of that and he's trying to sneak in the field. Alright, this is the sixth hole. Little water on your left. A lot of huddy does. That's something that we are proudly saying is our bird, the Harida. It's here in South Africa. They make this funny noise, of course. Um, yeah, it's wonderful just being out here playing golf. I know I've been making these daily vlogs and I constantly play, but there's a tournament, so I need to practice. And I said, I'll take you along every single day. You know, it's actually turning out to be a beautiful, non-windy day. It said 18 kilometers per hour, which basically around about nine miles per hour winds. And I mean, that's fairly strong, but for some reason, very lucky that it's not on the course itself. So it just makes play a little easier because like I said in the beginning of this video, that the course predominantly is quite easy to play. It's the wind that makes it hard. So the fact that it's not showing up makes it a little easier. And there's Table Mountain, as always. So this is why I love playing a Lynx golf course. Just look at that. While you're playing golf, you get the privilege to have a massive, massive pool. This is the final hole. I'm walking towards Table Mountain. And uh, I can honestly tell you, I've played really well. Like literally, I'm not joking. Out of all the golf games that I've played, this is my best round ever. The lowest score I've ever played was 84. And if I par this hole, if I play well, if I par, it'll be 82, which is incredible. Cause that's like two shots better than, than before. And that'll give me a plus 10, which I think is really good. So let's see what I can do. The green baby i just have to show you this um, it's incredible look at this my best ever score 81 81 out of like i literally thought i was gonna play 82 81 that's plus nine i mean that's what the pros play it's crazy so um yeah best best day ever. i mean look at the, the sun the course it's just, I'm glad that you guys obviously came along with me because obviously uh, now everyone left or my football left. I have to stay for the prize giving, but um, at least I'm not alone because you're here with me. So thank you. Two prizes today. In second place, uh, we got Mr. Basil Blakenberg. He played 76 minus 80, 68. Well done. Thank you. Well done. What does he know? <laughs> yeah, does he know? Yeah. And the winner of the day, we got here, Mr. Moshe. We played at 
absolutely brilliant today. He even made a nine on on the mold sixteen. Wow. It was a six or a seven. He would have broken a, the world record. Broken eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> it would have been the first time ever. Yeah, I've never broken eighteen. So he played eighty one. Minus 14 and 67. Yeah. Well done, Mr. Sam. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Man. So, he's a what you call it? He's a Mulleton freak. All right, we're done with the uh, announcement and the winner. Yeah, I did actually, I won this time, which was pretty cool. But I want to show you something better than winning a golf tournament is this. How beautiful. I mean, that's Table Mountain over there. I have the best fiance in the world. I come home and this is basically waiting for me. Fish, potatoes, what more can a man ask for? Thank you, Sophie Carr. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, what a lovely day of golf. I know, you know, I'm obviously doing daily vlogs and you don't necessarily want to follow golf. That's not why, you know, you're not a golfer, but I said daily vlogs and that is what I did today so um, and you know Thursday I'm leaving so Friday Saturday and Sunday vlog is also gonna be golf because it's a golf tournament so I'm just gonna you know obviously vlog that but I will because it's gonna be a busy weekend in a sense like I haven't seen my mates in a while um, it'll probably be more of that rather than in just maybe snippets of the golf um, so it won't be like a full-on golf day or vlog but still um, thank you so much for watching of course if you like the video like and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow ciao bye